is a, uh, a speaker from uh, CrowdMed, a, uh, a substitute speaker, but uh, but still sticking with the same company from CrowdMed. We have uh, Ilad Nehur Nehuri. Um, that's 95% of how you pronounce his name, and he can uh, he can top it off with the the, uh, the next five percent when he's up on the stage. Um, he builds online communities as the community manager for CrowdMed. Uh, CrowdMed harnesses the wisdom of crowds to solve difficult medical cases quickly and accurately online, and the company le uh, leverages technology to allow access to hundreds or thousands of medical experts to solve complex medical problems uh, quickly and efficiently. So, welcome. Thank you. I think it was more like 90, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> Uh, I'm Alad Nehurai, and I'm the head of community management at CrowdMed. Um, our mission is to harness the wisdom of crowds to solve the world's most difficult medical cases. Jared Hyman, who is supposed to be here when I'm in his stead, is the founder, CEO, and visionary behind CrowdMed. His inspiration to start CrowdMed was his little sister, Carly. At the age of 18, without any warning or apparent cause, she fell into a deep depression. She had to drop out of college. She would sleep 14 hours a day, too fatigued to do anything when awake but watch TV. She gained 50 pounds of weight and woke up several times a, a night with nightmares, soaked in cold sweat. Eventually, suicidal thoughts entered her mind. Over the next several years, their parents brought Carly to 16 different medical specialists and racked up over $100,000 in medical bills, desperately seeking a diagnosis. Each doctor would treat her symptoms as best they could, but none could identify the root cause of her illness. They'd later discover that she had a rare disease that affects one in 15,000 females. Her doctors had never heard of it. <clears throat> it wasn't until she was seen by an interdisciplinary team, and this will become key later, of physicians at the highly selective NIH Undiagnosed Disease Program in Bethesda, Maryland, that she finally discovered her correct diagnosis and treatment plan. The problem with our medical culture today is that we, is what we at CrowdMed call the Dr. House paradigm. This notion that any medical mystery can be sol solved by a lone genius, working in isolation if only we can find him. It's a paternalistic paradigm that gives us great comfort emotionally, but it's simply untrue. The truth is that no doctor, no matter how brilliant, can keep up the vast amount of medical knowledge that exists today. Unfortunately, Dr. House and the idea he represents are both fictional. However, there is a phenomenon called the wisdom of crowds, which shows that large and intellectually diverse crowds or groups of people tend to be much smarter than even the smartest individual experts in the world, as long as the right mechanism is in place to aggregate their collective intelligence. We developed CrowdMed to be the optimal mechanism for crowdsourcing medical answers. Using an early proto prototype of what eventually became CrowdMed, Jared tried to retroactively crowdsource the answer to his sister's case using 100 randomly selected people showing them the exact same information that her doctors had before she was diagnosed. Much to even Jared's own surprise, CrowdMed's crowd identified her correct diagnosis in just a few days and at negligible cost. That's when Jared devoted himself uh, full time to founding, to founding the company. Now, two years later, the product that Carly has in, has helped uh, the, the, the product that Carly has inspired has helped solve hundreds of difficult medical cases for patients like her. I'll let our success statistics speak for themselves. So far, we've resolved over 800 real-world medical mysteries on the CrowdMed site. Our average patient has been sick for eight years, seen eight doctors, uh, looking for that doctor house doctor and incurred about $60,000 in medical expenses to date. They've also spent over 300 hours uh, researching their case online on average before submitting it. Despite the incredible difficulty of these cases, over 70% of these patients tell us 
that CrowdMed successfully led them closer to either a correct diagnosis or cure. And about half say that their CrowdMed diagnosis was eventually confirmed to be correct by their physician. All of this for the average cost to us of under $200 in less than two months and using an average of 16 volunteer case solvers from around the world. To say it differently, our crowdsourcing approach provides twice as many medical <clears throat> opinions, about 300 times less uh, expensively, and 50 times more quickly than the, tr the traditional medical system had to date, helping to solve a majority of cases that the medical system so far has not been able to. Let's put this in context. The prestigious NIH program that I mentioned earlier the diagnosed Jared's sister, received, receives about 500 applications a year and accepts 115 patients with a $5.6 million annual budget. We resolve nearly that many cases in one month and at about one hundredth their budget on a per cases basis. These results are so compelling that a group of medical researchers from Stanford and Baylor are writing an article about us, which will be submitted soon for review by a major medical journal. Jared was also invited to give a TED talk on our results at TED Med 2014, with the video soon to be released online. Although our success in ROI statistics tell an amazing story, what's most amazing is the hundreds of notes of thanks that we've collected from patients, with more coming in every week. Some of them will bring tears to your eyes. This one is just an example. I'll read it to you. The experience was terrific. I can't thank the, crowd, uh, the founders of CrowdMed enough. After years of struggling and living in terrified uncertainty, I actually have a diagnosis and a beginning treatment. I truly appreciate all your suggestions. If it weren't for you, I'd still be stuck without a clue as to what, what was happening to me. Thanks again, and I wish you all the best. And I can tell you as the head of community management, this is actually something that I deal with every day, and we literally get an email like this every day. And it literally does bring tears to your eyes. I can tell you this on a personal level. We're truly saving and improving lives every single day. A patient once offered to invest, I actually got this email, a patient once offered to invest his life savings into our company because he so believed in our mission and the value we provide to people like him. So let's talk a little bit about how CrowdMed works for these patients. They start by completing our online patient questionnaire and uploading relevant medical records, images, and test results. We use this information to automatically generate their case on our site. Once it goes live, our patented prediction market technology comes into play as we start collecting and filtering diagnostic and solution suggestions from case solvers from around the world, and, and we, uh, the ones that we call medical detectives, which I'll give more details about uh, who they are later. Our system includes sophisticated point betting and commu uh, community moderation systems to identify and remove bad suggestions while ensuring that the good ones rise to the top, which is what separates us from a place like Facebook or Google. While our technology is determining accurate probabilities for each suge suggestion, medical detectives can ask questions to the patient via our chat feature to collect more detail about their symptoms, medical history, previously considered diagnoses, and test results. <coughs> Using our discussion board feature, medical detectives can discuss potential diagnoses and solutions with each other and the patient, debating why each might be right or wrong. On CrowdMed, Nothing happens behind closed doors, and patients are involved in every step of the process. After an average of 60 days on the site, the case is closed and the patient receives a PDF report summarizing the results, which they then bring to their doctor to discuss and hopefully get a diagnosis. All of this happens without any manual intervention by a CrowdMed employee. From the company's perspective, the entire process is 100% automated from when the patient first visits our site to when they receive their final results. So, who are these patients that we're helping? Now, if you look at this graph, these are the diagnoses that we've had on our site. 
the only thing they have in common is how different they are from one another. Besides Lyme disease, no single diagnosis is more than 2% of our total. And you can see two, uh, Lyme disease is 2.3% of our total. And 95% of our final diagnoses have, only come, have come up only once or twice in the history of our site. Our specialty and what we're extremely good at is identifying and helping patients with extremely rare and difficult to diagnose diseases. In terms of age, our patients cover the gamut from newborn babies to 99-year-olds, but tend towards either young children, often with a genetic disorder, or baby boomers who have been suffering for many years with an unsolved medical dis mystery. About 85% of our patients are in the US, and <clears throat> they skew slightly female. We're a two-sided marketplace, so attracting and engaging medical detectives is just as important to us as, as getting patients. One of the questions I'm most commonly asked, I guess Jared is most commonly asked, is who our medical detectives are and how we motivate them. So let's talk about that. We now have over 15,000 registered medical detectives, about 2,000 logged in in the last 90 days, and nearly 500 actively solving cases. About two-thirds of our active medical detectives work in or study medicine, most commonly medical students, doctors, and nurses. But we also have allied health professionals, researchers, scientists, chiropractors, acupuncturists, nutritionists, and even other patients that have gone through our system. They come from over 25 different countries, with more than a quarter of them outside the US, and that's without any international marketing. We believe there's huge potential, actually, for CrowdMed to expand internationally. We develop, and this is really the key to our product, a performance-based rather than credential-based reputation system, which allows us to unlock the potential of non-physicians and international medical practitioners who don't get a voice in the traditional medical system. This motivates them to spend far more time on our site than their cash incentives could justify. In fact, we've found that many of our site's top performers aren't even physicians. And we, you can actually see that on our blog. We've written about it a few times. Our average active medical detective spends over 11 hours a month solving cases on our site. And it can be much higher for the very active ones which is higher usage than any other social network online. This is particularly impressive considering that our medical detectives are mostly highly trained, highly compensated medical professionals. Part of the reason for this is that we're obsessive about creating an amazing user experience, as you'll see on the site. And you can see, compared to the other activity on other sites, even Facebook, which we're all addicted to, CrowdMed has been able to almost double the amount of time that they've spent on the site. And while, we, while you might assume our patients would be the most enthusiastic about us, our medical detectives are even more so. About 94% of them say that they'd be very or somewhat disappointed if we no longer existed, and 86% would be extremely or very likely to recommend CrowdMed to their peers, versus only 3% of detractors. Customer loyalty scores like this are better than Apple, Google, or Nordstrom. This is why we almost never feel a shortage of medical detectives relative to our patient, ca uh, patient caseload, even with dramatic growth in the latter. We attract and motivate our medical detectives with a variety of intrinsic and extrinsic in incentives and view our medical detective incentive structure just as much a part of our secret sauce as our technology. Patients can offer a case reward that, uh, sorry, a cash reward that is divided amongst the detectives who perform best on their case. And although some of our best medical cases have earned thousands of dollars solving cases, solving cases on the site, uh, most don't do it for the money, as you can see here. The average active detective earns only about $35 a month in cash rewards. That said, we're a marketplace, so any short-term supply slash demand imb imbalances are simply mitigated by pri price movements in our medical detective compensation offers. We intentionally designed our incentive structure such that it's the non-cash rewards that really keep medical detectives coming back. 
We have a point reward system and leaderboards uh, to recognize the top detectives with fierce competition to be at the top. We also offer skills development, learning from peers, intellectual challenge, and altruism. Medical detectives tell us that they love crowd med because it lets them get back to their roots and do exactly what they got into medicine to do in the first place. Solve interesting medical cases and help people. On our site, they don't have to worry about insurance reimbursements, malpractice suits, patient throughput rates, or misaligned incentives. Instead, they just get to do what they do best, securely, anonymously, and at their leisure. We've built CrowdMed to this point with only one customer in mind, patients. While they have a strong need for our service and benefit from it enormously, the cost savings benefit from it, uh, I'm sorry, uh, from the cost savings we provide to them pale in comparison to what we provide to their payers and the medical system as a whole. We're solving these cases, as I mentioned, about 300 times less expensively and 50 times more quickly than the tra traditional medical system. And we'd like to start partnering with health insurers, accountable care organizations, pharmaceutical companies, and employers to help them share in these savings. If you work for any of these organizations, please find me later to chat. And although we're very proud of the hundreds of people we've helped so far in CrowdMed, we're just getting started. We won't be happy until we've made crowdsourcing medical answers as common as searching on Google or WebMD. It has that potential since it's more convenient than self-diagnosis, far more effective, and very inexpensive. Most importantly, it can save millions of lives around the world. Thank you. I think we have, uh, I think we have time for one question. What's, what's your business model? So like I mentioned before, each patient offers an uh, incentive to the like cash incentive. So we take a small percentage of, of each reward that's kind of given to our medical detectives. And, uh, and that's basically how we make money through our site. And that's actually part of the reason we're also looking to work with and partner with other uh, medical or, or ACO or employer organizations. We still want to work directly with the patients through them uh, and still work in that basic business model, but uh, essentially that's what it is. Fantastic, thank you. Thank you. Great job.